So here we have San Julian, Master of Fantasy Art, introduction by Joe Jusco. And uh, it's an illustrator's special, super special edition. Um, illustrators is the great UK magazine. Um, it's put out by uh, the Book Palace, who have done uh, a lot of great magazines and books um, on Spanish artists and um, Dynamite uh, publishers here in the U.S. have done some good books too, covering the Spanish illustrators and comic artists. And um, the connecting tissue there is uh, Warren Magazine and Warren's association with a, a Spanish art agency that um, handled a lot of these artists. And uh, so this um, this book, I had seen a book uh, on San Julian before. And it was kind of expensive and it covered the thing is we love him for his fantasy artwork um but he did a lot of non-fantasy stuff and the other book was kind of expensive and there was a lot of non-fantasy stuff in it i wish i had bought it i just didn't have the money at the time so and this is um this is definitely worth my having now um the really interesting thing about this is it covers his early years doing illustrations for paperback covers uh, and, um, you know, uh, illustrative work for magazines and stuff. And then it goes, and, and, and you know, paperback covers. Then it goes into um, the work he did for uh, Warren and, um, you know, you know, the creepy, eerie, of course, famously Vampirella. And then uh, 1984, and uh, there is, though, oh, and Famous Monsters. You did covers for Famous Monsters. But the really amazing thing about this is he has done an amazing amount of work that was for commissions. And the commission work, he did not skimp. This easily could have been on the covers of magazines. As a matter of fact, it looks like many um, of the commissions were like from famous monsters fans who go like, well, Basil Gogos did a uh, cover of this character, but I'd like to see you do it. I wish you had done a copy. Um, and uh, so there's, wait till you see how many commissions there are in here, things that weren't done, uh, you know, you know, were just done privately. And there's, they look so, so amazing. Um, and of course, it's a great looking book. There's his uh, self-portrait. <laughs> There's the Joe Jusco. And I think, oh uh, yeah, um, many years ago I found a beautiful art book aptly called San Julian, just to say, produced in 1985. I did not see it uh, in 1985. This was much later. Um, and he talks about how he the subject matter was any genre, just people, por you know, just portraits of regular people, animals, um, Western, sci-fi, you know, crime, romance. So it, it talks about how wide ranging that book was. Um, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, that that's a, a a that's not the original painting from uh, Vampirella. That's one he did as a commission um, later on. And here we go. This is, we're gonna go down through his career here. Some early work. And this is kind of, uh, you know, I, I would absolutely, of course, not have seen these and said, oh, San Julian, no. And even uh, you know, even this comic work is still early on. I wouldn't. Uh... And here's some of the paperback covers. Jarrett's Jade, Mist World. Now these are ones um, that he did, and they have here publishers and dates unknown. 
titles, publishers, and dates unknown. So they know that that's they were done for paperbacks, but where they were printed, when, etc., we don't know. And uh, so here we see some of those. These are mostly romances. Looks like it's probably a spy book. Wow. Fantastic. I'm going through this. I, I, I'm sorry if I'm rushing through this a little bit. I don't mean to. I just know that sometimes I, I pause so much on these pages that the videos get a little long. And I just want to give you a, a, a look. I mean, you can pause on these. I'll, I'll try and remember to keep my hands, at least have part of my, part of the time with my hands out of the way of the art so that you can um, pause it and look at them if you'd like. Now here's, he said he did a ton of Westerns and uh, you know, a, a lot of the, um, a lot of the uh, European artists uh, use photo reference that you can very easily trace back to uh, an actor, you know, a, a photograph used for a, a movie or a TV show. They don't do that quite so much in the U.S. Um, and I think that's mainly, you know, publishers would get wor worried about whether or not somebody might say, hey, you can't use my likeness on here. That doesn't seem to be as, have been as big a concern with the European artists. Um, this is a, that's a, uh, he slightly changed her face. That's a famous photograph of Ingrid Pitt. And actually, I think that's from a Hammer film, not some Western. But, uh, yeah, I, I like that. I, I, I'm wondering how this looked on the finished cover. This is from Bronson, number 271. Some pretty racy covers, right? I like this. I like that it's it's influenced by, you know, uh, the west the western paperbacks that were influenced by the uh, the spaghetti westerns. Uh, much much more realistic, not, I mean, it's, they're still romanticized, mind you. You're not gonna take these and say, oh, well, this is exactly how the West was, but they're a little, um, you know, they were a big change from the earlier Westerns in the grittiness of them. And uh, here are uh, some movie-inspired ones, of course, Blade Runner. Good, the bad and the ugly. Uh, uh, <laughs> nice Fu Manchu cover. Robert Downey Jr. That's really... Oh, and... Um, oh, damn, what's his name? Uh, that's the Sherlock my kid likes. Um, yeah. Nice smattering of Sherlock Holmes is there. And here's some Game of Thrones stuff. Um, the thing is, it doesn't say uh, what these were done for. I don't know if these were ever used or printed anywhere. Uh, it doesn't say private commissions like a lot of the ones do. Beautiful work, though. Look at that. That's a, Those are great. Great pictures of these people. Great uh you know they they 
he is really fantastic at capturing and making it look very much like, you know, he probably worked from photos for these, but he still keeps that, the art of it there. It's not one of those photorealistic things. It is obviously a piece of artwork, you know, um, and that's that's uh, that's something I really appreciate. Um, <laughs> now that's a private commission. Looks like he's combined the uh, made a slightly Betty Page looking. Uh, character with the Rocketeers outfit. Carrie Fisher looking pretty good there. Rogue's Gallery of Villains. I wonder what this was made for. What does, what does this say? It just it doesn't. Oh, it says it's for a movie poster. That's not the movie poster. This is um, George Romero's Night Riders. Um, but uh, it's um, that is not the movie poster we had here in the U.S. I wonder if it's a European one or you know if it's one of those kind of commissioned ones. That was for a famous monsters. Uh, Cover. Nice for Dragon Slayer. Now here's the uh, famous monsters section, and uh, like I said, some of these actually were done for uh, Famous Monsters magazine. There's some from he did some from the original Warren run but in one of the um famous monsters has been revived at least twice after the warren magazines maybe three times i'm not really sure and some of these are for those so these are from all over the place as far as uh time period again a lot of these don't have dates on them so um See, I had that issue back in the day. 1972. Jeez Louise. That's forever ago, isn't it? <laughs> There's the Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. That's from 2015. Oh, and this is... I really, really like the colors in this. Um... This is a recreation. He did a painting for Famous Monsters of Filmland number 29, where he, he did this, uh, did a version of this, and this is a private commission to redo it. But I love that. Some more monsters. Private commission, so. Um, Yeah. So these weren't done for Famous Monsters, but it's obvious he's basically trying to recreate some of the... I mean, someone has done private commissions and wanted him to do these things. You know, I'm not especially crazy about this one. He's, he does good underwater work. I don't know if it's because he's working from that one photograph. Uh, I don't know. I'm not crazy about that one. This... This doesn't work for me there, the way the body is. No. <laughs> Collagen injections. Of course, Khan's my favorite monster. Um, that does not look like the Willis O'Brien one, though. He's doing... There's Mighty Joe Young. That's not bad. Looks, kind of looks like he's got a brush cut, though. 
Now there's the original calm face. Nice. Legends and icons. That's a great picture of Ray. And the way he's done the the artwork for the for the creatures. Um you know, not putting them entirely in focus, kind of uh, making them kind of soft, really makes Ray pop better. That's a great, that's a great tribute. favorite Betty Page. It's not, it's not quite as much as appealing as I, you know, as I think some of his portraits are. Classic characters. So his interpretation of Little Red Riding Hood, Beauty and the Beast. A lot of information for most of these. Some of these I find it hard to believe, you know, because it doesn't say private commission, but it also doesn't give a publication or anything for some of these. Oh, that's great. That's a that is a great monster. Yeah, a lot of. Uh, Burroughs. Wow. All righty. That's pretty fun. <laughs> not 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 crazy about that particular face on there and the the pose of course is a pretty famous one it looks a little not my favorite interpretation of that scene That's a very Corbin-esque looking face. Hmm. I do like that. That's a pretty fanciful 
looking. That's a little more fanciful, fanciful than most of his monsters look. <laughs> now here's the vampire relic art. And I'm sure that if we look at uh, what it says on them, it's, it don't, they will be a definite, uh, there'll be a lot of commissions here. Wow, that is that's such great mood he captures there. Homage to Frazetta. Private commission. Nice. <laughs> um. Yeah, Vampirella was a, a great idea. <laughs> Something just works about this character when it really shouldn't. <laughs> um, so now, here we go. He's, he's calling it Savage Beauty, but I think it's just... Uh, oh, he's just... Uh, the noise had the fantasy edge. Just him showing off. Yeah, he's undersea. He does like to draw the ladies under, under the water. Pretty good demon, I'm gonna admit that. See the thing about uh, the thing about a book like this. This is by far the best book on his artwork. But the fact is, there's other smaller books that have pieces that aren't in here that are fantastic, and that uh, don't you wish there was just one, maybe like a, a three volume set or something <laughs> that uh, collected all of it in one place. <laughs> Man, some of these creepy covers, you know, are like really burnt into my mind. Like this one was just eerie number 41. I don't remember it being that late in the run. Oh, good. There's some of the... wild when you see this stuff flipped. <laughs> Gosh. 
Cowboys and Dinosaurs. Alrighty. Look at that. Wow. You know, a lot of a lot of uh, painters when they're doing complicated stuff like this, they lay down the color they lay down some kind of colors that are gonna be in the background and then paint over it. Um, I'm so kind of surprised that he's doing it so piecemeal, but but boy, it, it works. Anyway, that's a look at this book. And I know a lot of you are going to like this because a lot of people like the uh, like the other ones on books on the Spanish artists. And I, I think this is just a fantastic book. Um, it sold out almost right away. Uh, there are copies of the... I see copies of the um, signed edition still available, but that's like $250. Um, hopefully they'll reprint this. They, they, they've started to reprint... A couple of their other books that I've shown off on the channel were fetching big, uh, big collector's prices, uh, but they're reissuing some of them this summer. So I would say keep a keep an eye on the Book Palace um, website and see what they what they're going to reprint, what they've got available. Um, this definitely deserves to be reprinted. This should this should be available to people, I think. Um, and uh, so yeah. Go there, um, take a look at what they've got. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, like, follow, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.